seven, count Try two. hard seven, uh, try hard seven, 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 willful retention of national defense information uh, to conspiracy uh, to concealing documents and record data. Catherine Falders, uh, our senior investigative reporter with our investigative unit again reporting just moments ago uh, that Donald Trump, the former president and his lawyers have been told to appear in a federal court in Miami next Tuesday, 3 p.m. is the time we're told, but we're still reporting this out. Uh, Catherine's reporting so far at least seven counts, again, our team working on this, at least seven counts uh, ranging from obstruction to willful retention um, to conspiracy, also part of uh, the initial reporting on what could be coming from the special Jack. counsel. Jack. I want to get right to our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, working his I sources am not over at the Justice Department. I'm not, just, I'm not enjoying about this, okay? You know, remember the other day, this, uh, some guy was being uh, like investigated for fucking um, insider trading? And I said, yo, this guy's a buster on streaming. Remember how I said that? This guy's this, this, this a buster. The guy, I, I, I would suit on the news. I said, yo, this guy did. This guy takes, takes advantage of the fucking system and he's making money. Like, a, a, I said that. This guy sends me a DM on Twitter. He has like 250k followers. And he says, yo, dude, hey, thanks for the shout out, bro. It's not a really good shout out. Like, you kind of cook at me, dude. But, bro, hey, thanks for the shout out, bro. Want to do something, bro? You can send me a DM, we'll do something. I'm like, bro, aren't you like 40? What the fuck? Dude, I don't even know. Uh, and Pierre, uh, what are you learning from uh, the people you're talking with? Well, David, we have been told by sources who have been following the case that <clears throat> Trump is expected to appear on Tuesday to be processed in connection with these charges. And we've been told by multiple sources that the special counsel has specifically been focusing on efforts to illegally yeah. retain... I think it's Ro Khanna, that guy, yeah. That one, yeah. ...classified documents and producing evidence to show that Trump also willfully obstructed the government's efforts to get those documents back. And David, I can put this in perspective. This is perhaps one of the most consequential investigations the Justice Department has done in recent memory. We're talking about investigating a former president who's seeking to be reelected. They knew this was one of the most consequential cases that they've ever pursued, and I'm told that they have built a case month by month to produce compelling evidence to lay out in detail what Trump did in terms of taking the documents from the White House and then what he did in response to a government subpoena to return those documents. Now, we're also being told that law enforcement and sources will be stepping up security in and around that courthouse in Miami uh, because they don't know quite what the response will be. But again, clearly a very consequential moment, and we'll be hearing more in the coming hours and days. Interesting, yeah.